Hello everyone, welcome to a full month of grocery shopping trips for the month of February in 2023. If you're curious how I feed my family of six on a budget, then this is the video for you. I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and I share weekly budget grocery hauls every week, but I decided to try this for 2023 where I do a short video of every single shopping trip I shop at for the whole month, everything I pick up and I put them together in one video so you can see what I am shopping and buying for our family of six. Yes, we are a family of six, and so this is what you're seeing me buy, everything as I buy it. We shop in Northern Indiana, so our prices do vary based on where, where you might shop. I shop at a variety of stores, and my trips look very eclectic. That's normally true because I really am a big believer in shopping the sales and stocking up. I do have a stockpile, and that helps me a lot to keep our budget low. But this month, especially in February, I was doing a freezer clean-out challenge. So my trips were actually even lower than I thought. I didn't have a specific number in. I still wanted to stock up on sales. Um, and I found some good ones at Kroger this month and just kind of supplementing here and there. But you will notice a couple things as you're going through those. Number one, you're not going to see any meat. I didn't buy any meat this month. And that varies month to month depending on if there's a good deal or sale or not but especially this month i was trying to eat down some of what we have in our freezer so you won't see any of that if you're curious about um, our freezer challenge i have a video already up about the beginning of the month and there will be a new, another one coming up with a wrap up so you can see all of that how i did with our freezer challenge but anyways groceries all right, so I shop the sales, I stock up when I say a good deal, and I just kind of really fill in the pieces. So let me show you every single thing I bought this month for our family of six. One more thing I forgot to tell you. So each trip, I'm going to show the total for that specific trip in a light teal box on the corner of your screen. And then I'll switch it to a gray box so you see the running total for the month so you see exactly where I am. All right, now let's get to all those shopping trips. Let's kick off the month of February with my first shopping trip. So we headed to Walmart and Kroger today with the kids who, yes, you hear in the background playing. All right, so we started at Kroger. I ran in for hangers and thread and picked, while I was there, picked up a couple other things. Chocolate milk was $2.72. Produce, some different Curly Girl shampoo for $5.68. I'm trying some refills on cleaning things, crescent rolls, thinking ahead to Super Bowl. And we picked up Valentine's chocolates for the kids while we were there, $1.24. So for those couple things at Walmart today, I spent $38.31. And then we headed down the road to Kroger. And we were really going in for weekly deals. There were a lot of really good weekly deals at Kroger this week. So I really was stocking up on those when I clicked the digital coupons. So pretty much everything here was sale and coupons. We went for the laundry detergent, buy one, get one free. So it ended up, it's $5.99 a bottle. So it works out to $3 a bottle for the large containers. That was a great deal. Mission tortilla chips, $1.49. Mission tortillas, $1.49. Cottage cheese, $1.49. So many things. Facial wipes, $1.49. Carefree and stay free, $1.49. These were all the digital deals this week at Kroger, and they were amazing. Also found a couple clearance finds, $1.60 for the sparkling water. $2 for the Welch's sparkling grape juice. And then the best deal of all, 25 cents for this Christmas cupcakes. We'll be eating them in February. But 25 cents when it includes the cake mix and everything else, we'll take it. So for everything at Kroger that you see here pictured, I spent $50.01. You'll see that in the box, and then now I'll change it to the total for the month of February in the top corner in the gray box. The total for February so far is $88.32. February 8th, I did a pickup order at Kroger to pick up just a couple of the weekly deals and some other specials and produce. So I grabbed five pounds of apples, it was $5.49. Avocados were on sale for 67 cents, nice large avocados. Cherries were on sale for $2.99 a pound. Cheese was $1.49 and I had a dollar off coupon. In addition, it was a limit five, grabbed all of those. 
this was a really good deal that it was $9.99 for 120 count of the kitchen bags. I don't normally use those, but it was a great deal and I like having that size on hand, so I can use them more. And then these two deals just stumbled across the craft or the Philadelphia cream cheese was $2.50 a block, but I had a $5 off three purchase on a game day favorite, and that was included. So basically it means I spent $2.50 for three blocks, so or $0.83 cents a block, great deal. And then I had a $3 off three Kraft mac and cheese coupon, so they're normally $1.25, took $3 off, which meant I spent $0.25 cents a box. Great deal there. For everything you see at Kroger on this pickup order, I spent $34.73 and let's go ahead and add that to my running total for where I am in February now. February 13th I ran into Sam's Club for a couple things I needed for Valentine baking. I really needed to restock eggs. They're currently six dollars for two dozen so it works out to three dollars a dozen best price I can currently find around us still expensive but cheaper than what we're seeing pizzas were an instant deal it was $8.88 for four pizzas so $2.20 a pizza nice for a quick dinner more applesauce I always get it when I'm there $2.59 a jar and then I needed cheese slices for my daughter's party. This was $8 for two pounds. I'm gonna use a small heart cookie cutter and cut four little cheese hearts out for them for their Valentine's party. And then this does not come out of my grocery budget, but I happened to find pants there, clearance to $5.81, which was a great deal. This is what my girls wear under the uniforms. So I grabbed those packages and a couple sizes while I saw them. For these things at Sam's today, not counting the uniform pants, I spent $43.78, and I'll go ahead and add that to the total so you see where we are for mid-February. February 15th, I got these boxes actually in the mail from Sam's. It's the instant deal this month, and I wanted to pick them up in store, but they were out of stock, and I was able to find them for just 50 cents more online at Sam's shipped to my door in a box my kids will love playing with. So for these 24 boxes of tissues, I paid $26.96. Works out to just over a dollar a box, which is my stock up price, and we will be well set on tissues for a long time. I was glad to see this deal because we were down to our last couple boxes of tissues. All right, I'll go ahead and add that now to our running total for February. February 16th, I ran into Kroger for the deals this week. So this is what I got. There was applesauce on sale for $1.99 for the cups, some bananas, five pounds of potatoes were $1.29. Milk happened to be under $3 for us, it was $2.89. Potatoes, there was a digital coupon, so I got those for $2.79 a bag. The best deal though was the Yoplait yogurt, was $1.99 for these large containers. And so that was a really great Great deal to grab. Cottage cheese was $1.99, and then I had a coupon for a free thing of peanut butter, so I grabbed that. And then the chocolate-covered donuts, normally they are $5.49, but we scored them for $1.86, and my daughter and I enjoyed that treat after shopping. And then this was from Walmart uh, when I was just running in for Valentine clearance. I grabbed these fruit rolls for $1.50. So I'm gonna include that on this trip. So for this counter of deals this week at Kroger, it cost me $37.50. And then we'll go ahead and add that to our total for February. As you see, it's about halfway through the month and I actually have spent just under half of our budget. So I'm feeling very good about where we are. We'll see how we finish out this month. February 23rd. I ran into Kroger for some of the weekly deals and restock on some produce while I was there. Pro Kroger produce isn't always the cheapest, but it is really good quality, and for us, it lasts better than Aldi. Milk was $1.29 for the half gallon, applesauce $1.99, restocked on those cups like I had bought the week before. And then the other weekly deal was this tuna. These tuna pouches were 79 cents, limit five with the digital coupon. So I picked up some different flavors to try. Apples, unfortunately, have gone up. It's $5 for a three pound bag, but I got some fancier brands. 
And then just other produce. Avocados were $1.99 for four. Bananas, asparagus was $1.99. And zucchini was on sale for $1.49. So I restocked that for dinners this week and bought those. Not really restocking, but bought those. So for everything here I picked up at Kroger today, I have spent $37.07 which considering it's almost the end of the month feels great. I'll add that to our total for the month. It's just over 268 out of my monthly $475 budget. I'm not finished shopping yet, so we will see where we end up for the month of February. February 24th, I got this order from Amazon. I wear hard contacts, so I have to use gas permeable solution. And unfortunately, you can never find great deals, but I've discovered Amazon is a place to go. Normally, this is almost $10 a bottle now, and I was able to get a 20% off coupon. So shipped to my door, it was $16.23 for two bottles, which works out great. So that includes tax and everything. So I was very pleased with that. All right, we'll go ahead and add that to our running total for February. Still doing great this month. February 28th, my last grocery trip for the month of February, and I ran into Aldi. It was actually the first time I've been to Aldi all year, I realized. Prices do continue to keep creeping up there. I need to do an in-depth comparison soon. So just restocking a couple things. Our pantry was running low. We were totally out of mayo, almost out of oats. Oats are up to $3.69 there. We needed some syrup, $2.09. I've tried some homemade, but the kids seem to like this one best, so we just keep doing that. Canned pumpkin was actually down to $1.19. Not a fabulous deal. I still have about a dozen cans left, but I grabbed three while I was there. We use it a lot for baking. Gala apples, three pounds, were actually $3.29, which is the best price I've seen, and they felt pretty firm, so we're going to give it a try, even though all the apples aren't always the best for me. Restocked on some powdered sugar for birthdays coming up to make frosting and brown sugar. Mini chocolate chips, also 209 there. And then a loaf of bread to make homemade Uncrustables. So not a lot, but just restocking. For everything there, I spent $29.02. And let's flip around and see how we ended the month of February. All right, there you have it. That was every single shopping trip for the month of February. My grand total for our family for the month of February was $313.61. Normally I use that $475 budget, so that was a savings of $150, which feels so good, especially because I didn't really feel the difference. We were shopping fine. I think February is a good time for me to do it because it's colder, it's dreary. I just don't want to go out shopping as much. Um, I have a four and two year old home with me, so they always go shopping and they're great helpers, but it's a lot of work in the winter when you're loading up in coats and it's just more work. So it's a great time for me to do a freezer challenge. We used a lot of what we had and it was nice to have that savings. What am I going to do with it? I probably will just let it go into our budget and help cover some extra bills and savings and put it in savings for this month. Nothing spectacular. Um, next month, starting in March, I'm back to the 475. We'll see how the sales are and what I buy. So if you like seeing all of these things, things that I shop on a budget, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. I will share again at the end of March, I'll share a new video. I'll leave the link to the January video below in the description in case you missed that one. So every month I'll share one of these. But if you want more details about exactly what I'm buying, be sure to check out every Thursday, I'll post a frugal grocery haul. And it's different than a lot of other channels because I do try to really share some ideas and sales that you can watch for wherever you are, whether you have the same store as I do or not, because I do. I want to help everyone save money on their grocery budget. I know it's a challenge. So again, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and joining me, and I will see you in the next video.